You won't live past the age of two, is what Molly McGlone's parents were told after she was diagnosed with spinal muscular atrophy at the age of 10 months. Molly has far exceeded doctor's expectations as she is now a college student pursuing a degree in pre-med. There was no approved treatment for this disease until December 23rd of this year, when the FDA approved its first ever therapy for SMA. After Molly heard about this breakthrough treatment, she was beyond excited. I was just you know, scrolling on Facebook and I was like, I was like, oh my God, and I just, like, my heart, I was like, I thought it was going to jump right out of my chest, and then I was like, oh, I'm texting my friends, and, and then I cried a lot. <laughs> According to CureSMA.org, this disease affects one in every 10,000 babies, and one in every 50 Americans is a genetic carrier. This genetic disease affects the motor nerve cells in the spinal cord, taking away a patient's abilities to walk, move, eat, and at times, even breathe. The recently approved treatment Spinraza is a synthetic genetic material that binds RNA. In total, it would fix splicing errors in the affected genes, this of which would assist with muscle movements. Knowing this treatment is now available gives Molly something more important to hold on to. Hope that it can benefit you know, our lives. And I want to say adults who do get treatment, I mean, they might not benefit greatly, but even a little bit of muscle back, would, that would be nice. Molly also wanted to emphasize how grateful she is for all the kids and babies who get diagnosed that now have a treatment option. With plans of receiving treatment in the near future, there's one goal Molly has in mind. If I get enough motor function, my first goal will be to learn violin. I would love that. I've always wanted a violin. <laughs> Molly finds her escape through music and is passionate about creating it herself. Having an outstanding support group is what also keeps Molly optimistic. I got great family, I got great friends. Shout out to my friends that pick my head up when it falls over. <laughs> Molly's plans on going into pre-med arose from the time she spent in the hospital at a young age. Being a compassionate, caring doctor that will give hope to children is what she aspires to be in the future. Melanie Palmer reporting for ABC 10 and CW5 in Marquette.